Hey, butterflies. As you see, I am doing a missing person on this lady. Um, it just recently happened, family. Her name is Eliza Fletcher. Eliza Fletcher. And this is a picture of her right here. Okay, I just happened to be on YouTube. And um, I saw a um, news article clip that had popped up. And I was like, wow, this is crazy. You're telling around somebody going missing. It says police are searching for a woman reportedly kidnapped while jogging near University of Memphis. Investigators said Eliza Fletcher was reportedly forced into an SUV about 4.30 a.m. Friday after a brief struggle in the area of Central Avenue and Zach... Kirtland. Anyway, um, you can read this for yourself, family. This is some additional information right here, okay? Anyway, I did meditate on her, and um, this is pretty much a spirit of the moment reading. Um, you know me, I, I pretty much go in depth when I'm doing my readings, because um, I'm always seeking additional clarity. So, um, what I have here, family, is not much, but... Um, you know, something is better than nothing. Maybe if, if we don't hear anything within three days, I'll probably go within depth more if she hasn't been um, found, okay? We're going to just hope for the best that Miss Eliza Fletcher will be found safe and unharmed. But anyway, this is what I have so far. I have here past event, present event, future event, and secret event, okay? Now, for those who just happen to be watching, a lot of things in here, you know, um, to me, you know, uh, it's not really pertaining to, you know, what went down. A lot of it is just a lot of, you know, insight, hidden information that only her loved ones would know about her, okay? Let me just say that I can't control what comes out, okay? So, um, a lot of my brothers and sisters of the spirit, you know, they they know, you know, what a lot of this additional information means. You know, it's, it's really confirmation for her loved ones because um, I don't know Miss Eliza, okay? I don't know her, but God knows her. And the spirit realm definitely knows um, what's going on with people, okay? So anyway, um, this is what I have so far. When it comes to past, okay, I have here trafficking of young women in this area. Now, I don't know how old Miss Eliza is. Okay, I don't know how old she is. Let me see. It didn't really say how old she is. Okay, yes it does. She's 34 years old. She's 34 years old. But anyway, I have here trafficking of young woman in this area. Okay, now this says past event. Okay, so in this area of Memphis. In this area of Memphis where Miss Eliza went missing. Okay. Um, is it known for, you know, women been, um, going missing around this area? Okay. Cause it has here trafficking of young women in this area. Okay. So it's something about this area to where Miss Eliza was taken is known for this right here. Okay. Trafficking of young women in this area. Okay. So something about past event. And then it has here doing drugs illegal. Okay. This is allegedly. And I meant to put a disclaimer. Whatever you see in here, family, it is allegedly. We know it's not facts, but I am led by the spirit, okay? Now, anyway, it has here doing drugs, illegal, okay? It's allegedly. I don't know what Miss Liza do, okay? Now, even if she was known for, you know, smoking weed, smoking, you know, I would, I would get this also, okay? So, anyway, um, this came out for, for a reason. It has here, in the same area, have not moved, keep looking, Okay, so according to the spirit, even though this is the same past events, according to the spirit, you know, um, she was taken this morning. Okay, so according to the spirit, she's still in the same area somewhere. Okay, it says in the same area, uh, have not moved, keep looking. And it has here, when a friend breaks your trust, no loyalty in them. So something about, excuse me, something about a friend of hers, okay, allegedly. 
you know, maybe she had a little spat with a friend in the past, and it has her self sabotage. Something about self sabotage, okay? And that's due to one actions, things that they do as far as you know, denying themselves and putting others before them, or it can do due to you doing things that are not really for your highest good to be doing, okay? You can self sabotage yourself, okay? But I let me be the judge when it comes to this. Um, so this speaks from the perspective of past events. All right, family. Now let's move forward. This right here is a present event. Now it has right here. Um, situation has a mental disorder, unbalanced, tapped out, overreacted, responded in a negative way. Okay. And that can be due to some kind of event that had um happened. Okay. In the present, before the unthinkable happened. It has here, my close friend or best friend is friends with someone new. I do not like or get along with them. I'm sorry, I don't even see the word them. I apologize. Let me read this again. My close friend or best friend is friends with someone new. I do not like or get along with very toxic and drama, full of drama, okay? So, allegedly, does Miss Eliza have someone in her circle that she considers a friend that is full of drama? Only her loved ones would know, okay? So, anyway, let's continue. It has here a present event, something about girlfriend, female. It has here, leading up, it has here, scream, danger, help me. It has here, their family member. Okay, I thought this was weird for this to come out. So I'm like, they're a family member. You know, what, do, what does this have to do with anything? Is it saying that one of her friends, family member, is into, is into some shady things? Awesome. But anyway, um, I'm not really sure what this is all about. But um, it says they're a family member. Okay, maybe somebody, family, family members, is into some shady things. It has here, gang-related groups, violence, and toxic. Okay, it has here, um, when standing out makes you become targeted, all eyes on you. Envy, jealousy surrounds you. Okay, so maybe this is how somebody sees her, <clears throat> sees her, and it has here something about ex-girlfriend, okay? And I don't know if this pertains to relationships or, or just, you know, um, friendship, you know. But anyway, um, this, a lot of this stuff came out for a reason. I don't know why. The spirit have a way of just uh, revealing certain information for whatever reason, okay? Now, we got here a future event. It has here, um, I need to leave now. This environment is too dangerous and toxic a risk, okay? Talking about the environment that she's presently in. It says future event. Right here it says seeking attention. They love the spotlight. Okay. Only her loved ones would know her characteristics or close friends. It has here a situation. Caught off guard, blindsided, not paying attention, alone. Okay. I think she was out for a run, family. She was out for a run just doing her and someone, they said someone had taken her. Foolish. They disrupt. And mock authority. Now I don't think the spirit is talking about Miss Eliza. I feel like this is someone that either Miss Eliza knows or this is the individual, the so-called joker that had taken her, okay? They're very cocky. Okay, it has here secret events. It has here hit strike attack physically. It has here being triggered. Feels upset emotionally, left location, wrong path, self sabotage. So that's probably why we saw here self sabotage, okay? Where was I? Being triggered, feels upset emotionally, left location, wrong path, self sabotage. So I don't know if, even though she went for, um, went out. For a job, I don't know how she was feeling before she went out for a job. Was she upset about anything before she, you know, stepped out to um, go exercise and go for a jog? Okay, it's, it says feels upset emotionally, um, emotionally left location, wrong path, self sabotage. Did she should go another route? You know that she normally wouldn't wouldn't have gone. It has here check cameras near mall area parking lot. Okay. 
And for some reason, what stands out to me is family. A lot of people that's into this trafficking, they are known for being in mall areas, like the parking lot, especially with those like white vans and stuff like that. And even if they're not driving a white van, you know, they're, they are still known for being in areas like this because they know a lot of young people be there, okay? So anyway, check cameras near mall area parking lot. And then it has here, uh, this is the secret event. It has here, past or present court order. So I don't know what this means. Uh, it came out for a reason, family. Um, maybe this is one of those you know, um, confirmation as far as a, fa a family member will probably know what this means, okay? Um, I'm not sure what this is about. It says past or present court order. And then it has right here, um, check near abandoned houses, warehouse buildings. And we know a lot of shitty things be going on inside these abandoned houses as well as these uh, abandoned warehouse buildings. And it has here back trunk. Okay, so if she was taken allegedly, they could have put her in a in the um trunk, okay, of the SUV. And it has here home invasion, past or present. So something about a home invasion. Um allegedly. Um did Miss Eliza ever experience any kind of home invasion in the past that her family may have known of? Um someone could have maybe stolen something. I mean, I don't I don't I really don't know why certain information come out the way it do. Uh, the way I see it, you know, it's a spirit way of giving, you know, family and loved ones confirmation because they would know what it means, okay? Um, but everything really depends on an individual. If they are a very private individual, a lot of people don't speak on certain things that's going on with them. But anyway, um, as I stated, this is a secret event, okay? So, um... I don't know who all Miss Eliza lived with. I don't know if, you know, due to the fact that they had her, did they, you know, take her to a home and, you know, um, trying to, you know, rob her home. I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, um, we're going to just hope for the best and pray that uh, Miss Eliza will be found um, safe and unharmed. Okay. Um, the way it's looking, it's pretty much looking like uh, trafficking for right now, from what I'm seeing, okay? For, for right now, from what I'm picking up, it looks like it's some kind of trafficking, okay? So anyway, and not only that, you know, in this area, it seems to be known for this. It's a trafficking of young women in this area, okay? And that says past event. So it looks like this is it's known in this area for this type of thing to be going down. And also, it says doing... If this is not Miss Eliza, in this area, people are known for, you know, uh, this right here also, doing drugs, illegal drugs. In, this, in the same area, have not moved, keep looking. So, anyway, um, I'm going to wait to about um, three days. If Miss Eliza haven't been um, seen or heard from yet. I will do a thorough um, reading on her. Okay, family? So much love to you. Thank you for watching. Let's keep Miss Eliza Fletcher in our prayer, 34-year-old Eliza, and pray that she will be found <clears throat> safe and sound. You see that, family? <clears throat> I sure hope and pray that this is ain't being um, choked. <clears throat> but anyway, I was fine. You see how the camera all blurry. But anyway, um... Much love to Miss Eliza, and thank you, Butterflies. Please um, share this information. Like, we'll definitely get the awareness out there, and uh, I'm just doing my part. Her family didn't ask me to do this. I just did this as a labor of love. Peace and love to you all, and let's pray that Miss Eliza will be found.